Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We've been uh, <clears throat> just yo-yoing in uh, in plat one here. Definitely had quite a few <laughs> tragic drafts, a couple of good blue drafts. I'm hoping to get a solid one that I can upload here. Um, still been relatively successful with aggro, but uh, yeah, just just had some you know, pretty mediocre drafts. Just haven't really had any where I've been like, wow, that's an insane deck. So, here's hoping. Okay. Um, let's say Lum Speaker is exactly kind of what the green decks want. Frustrator, solid blue tempo card. Wrath, definitely a solid gold card. Um... I feel like these are somewhat equal on power level. Four lands, three of which are green. Curious if any of these would come back. Um, I mean, I think I'd be tempted to take the Frostrider <clears throat> in terms of wanting to be in blue. I think Lum Speaker is a good reason, to, you know, to do some sort of green domain deck. Um, there's also Raph, but I don't think I want to take a two-color card here. It's probably between these two for me. Um, I haven't played a ton of green. Kind of down to try, though. Um, speaker just does a lot of things that you want it to be doing. It's a cheap card. It ramps you. It turns your lands into spells, essentially. So... I haven't drafted a lot of Domain, but when I did the other day, I think the thing that I noticed the most is I didn't have a ton of this card, and I think Rootwalla is like the two drop for this deck. So as much as I think Tailswipe is really good, I think I just take Rootwalla here. Um, in terms of power level, I mean, obviously Kelden Flame Sage is interesting. It, I've seen it, I played against it, and it can be good. The awkward thing, though, is the red-blue decks don't play a ton of creatures, right? Like, traditionally speaking. Um, I mean, you're living the dream if you get a Kelden Flame Sage and, you know, a big, the 5-5, five five, the Talarian guy, and you're casting free spells. But that's, like, the ceiling, but the floor on this card, I think, is relatively low. Um, the Tailswipe also, I feel like, might have a decent chance of coming back around. I don't feel like a lot of people are super trying to play green <clears throat> i i do think it is not terribly strong but i think if you get this set up for a good domain deck you can go over the top of anything so this is interesting we've got take up the shield is a premier white common we've got battling mystic which is just a solid blue uncommon and phyrexian espionage solid blue common and we've got lands <laughs> so i think typically domain is kind of like green black or green red splash and then there's the green two drop that has the blue kicker i guess it's pretty close but i, I think i'm just gonna take a land here i think i'll just take the tributary could take the battle wing mystic i've already passed you know some decent blue cards so we're kind of hooking up someone in blue and then we can kind of go from there now, the Amplifier is actually really good in this deck just because of uh, the one mana pump spell because it just makes this thing huge. Or the Trample uh, pump spell. But I think I just, if I'm trying to play this sort of deck, have to take the green uh, dual lands pretty high. Um, and I'm not seeing any reasons to like shift what we're doing. Like Cyclops is fine, Amplifier would be would be great, but we just take the the green dual land here, and I think we're pretty happy. Okay, so there's Joint Exploration, which is solid for what this deck is trying to do, um, but I just don't know. Like we could be green blue splashing things, we could be green red, green black splashing things, so we we just don't know. Um, could take the trick here, but I think it's probably just best to take a wall. 
I would like a colossal growth in this sort of deck, um, just because the domain creatures tend to get really big. But I think the vine wall is pretty important for what we're doing. Just getting dual lands off the top of our deck and playing them. Destroy evil, pretty solid white card. Um, and we don't have to go domain with this build. We could. It looks like white is somewhat open here. Cavalier still. Take up the shield still. Um, Urberg repossession is really good in these sorts of decks. But I think Scout the Wilderness is a little bit better. I mean, you want to you want to play both. But I think let's stick with green as our main color for as long as we can. I do know. We, we could end up green-white. Def definitely the potential for that. I don't want to, though. I think I'd rather try and be domain. So I could take another wall, or I could take a dual land here. It's probably better to take the dual land. Okay, another scout. There's also Sunlit Marsh, too. I think I will take the land here as well. Nice, okay. And Haunted Mire. Um, I don't think we're likely to play any of these cards. I guess maybe Broken Wings. Tortoise Herbalist. I'll take the Prophecy. Pretty good for Domain. Alright, well we've got a bunch of lands. Two of which are green, which is great. And then these other ones are, are fine too. Wow, the Phalanx came all the way back around. Okay, Colossal Growth. That's a good pickup for us, definitely. <laughs> Captain's Call last pick. Uh, yeah. Probably should have been in white, but kind of chose our somewhat of our path early. But that's okay. I play white all the time. Um, okay, I think, so this is, beginning of your end step of a creature or planeswalker, an opponent controller was dealt excess damage, make a 4-4 dragon. It's not too hard to set up, and at baseline it's a 5-5 flyer ward 2. Um, I mean, we're, we are basically green-red or green-black splash, so I'm down to take Rith. I haven't gotten to play with this card that much. But playing against it, it is pretty annoying. I would love the Tangled Island if we could. Um, some good blue cards in here. Hopefully we get an Urborg repossession. But yeah, I'm just going to take what I think is like a fairly powerful rare. Hmm, okay. So interesting choice. There's Rulik Mons and then there's Weather Seed Treaty. I think the Treaty is just an insanely powerful card for our deck um, it just kind of does everything you want uh, and if you can get it back later that's good too I do like Rulik Mons obviously quite a bit as a creature I think we get a little bit more value off the Weather Seed Treaty okay well as much as I want Gaia's Might and monstrosity i think like these might wheel i think i will take the tangled islet here um i think i do want to take some of these lands somewhat highly here yeah I'll take the tangled islet interesting okay well, with the way that our deck is sort of shaping up, I, I think Amplifier is a little bit better than the Ridge Line. I mean, we've got three green duels, which is good. And I don't want to be super low on playable, so I'm going to take the Amplifier. Oh, wow. This King Darien. Huh. Well, a <laughs> bunch of lands, too, that we would want. King Darien, I think we could splash. Right now we've got one white source, so that's something to look out for. But this card's just really powerful. I mean, it's it's sort of you have to answer it. So I guess we're kind of like Naya-ish. Um, okay, I, I 
I guess I think this deck can play Molten Monstrosity. Question is, do I take it here or do I take a green black land? I'm gonna take it. I, I really want to try this sort of green red big stuff. Ooh, nice. Root Wall is a really good pickup here. Yeah, so I think we'll be green red, and then it seems like splashing white. Uh, maybe black as well. All right, here I could take another dual land, but I, I'm gonna take a, another colossal growth. This card just does anything that can give our stuff trample. It's gonna do a ton of work. Huh, Phoenix Chick doesn't really fit with what we're doing. Um, it's not a bad card though. Hmm. I think we'll take the Islet though. I think it's probably more valuable for our deck. Um, Mana Worker doesn't seem bad for what we're doing. Like, War Brute's fine too. And this deck seems like Mana Worker would be fine. Oh, there's Guy's Might or Monstrosity. Oh, I think I'll, I'll take the Guy's Might. Because that's what sets up our monstrosities also really easily. Um, so I think that's probably better to think about. Thrall to the Pit might be a card we could play. Ironator we can play. It's like a reasonable... Oh, and we got a Haunted Mire. Nice. Okay, great. Okay. Well, there is Phyrexian Missionary. That's a good white card worth splashing. Um... You know what? I think I am going to take it just because I'm fairly certain the guys might will wheel. Um, like, I think people will take one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Potentially, yeah. Let's take the missionary. This, this is just, I think, it would be great for us to look out for maybe a couple more white tapped lands, if possible. Hmm... Oh man! All right, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna bet on the same thing here. I'm gonna take the amplifier over Gaia's might because I'm pretty sure the might will wheel, and that's what we're gonna hope for. <laughs> okay, this is a green white land, so that's kind of I'm already interested. Oh, there's the other, but there's also the sojourner, and I would rather have a playable. I think. We might still get a land out of this. Yeah. Gotta take the Sojourner. It's it's just exactly what our deck is trying to do. Chaplain. No. Take the Sojourner here as well. We're just good old green red fatties. Splash a couple good white sort of value cards. Another Haunted Mire. But I think Deathbloom Gardener is totally fine for what we're doing fixes us can be really annoying for the big creatures in the format well outrider is also a perfect card for this deck as much as i would like to take the red white land here how many playables do we have one two three four five six seven eight so 20 playables yeah i just gotta take the outright as much as I want the lands. Oh, Strength of the Coalition is a nasty trick, but just Root Wall is such a problem. It's uh, playing into this thing. I, I played against a deck with three of it yesterday. It's it's just so hard to deal with it when you have like really good domain decks like this. Third Colossal Growth. Maybe. I think I'd rather play another Might over it. I'm hoping the Might will link... 31, so we're at 23 playables. Good, 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 good. There's the might. There's one of them. Pretty sure we could get one. Uh, not playing anything here. If we could get one more land. 
Okay, so we missed, I think, on one guy's might not wheeling. But other than that, I think we made out pretty well. I mean, would have been great to have more outriders and stuff like that. But overall, I think I'm pretty happy with this deck. Would have been great to get even just one more white dual land. But such is life that you don't get it all. Um, all right. So let's take a look at our mana base. Oh, we have one cut. One cut. Yeah, probably just one of the Colossal Growths. I think two is plenty. Um, how many creatures do we have? A 16. Yeah. Like, Mana Worker's not the best, but it, it will help smooth. Uh, you know, smooth some of the mana. So, you can only activate it once. Okay. It's good to know. I haven't played a ton with that card. Yep. This looks good. Okay. So let's go for green. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah. That's, I think that's correct. Definitely at least eight green sources. Um, all right. How many red sources? We really don't have a ton of red cards, but we got a couple of two red two drops so we probably want seven ideally eight one two three so would be six six i think is reasonable yeah that's that's probably good enough And how many white sources? Yeah, we just have one Sunlit Marsh. Um, yeah, I think three planes works. These are the more powerful cards. And having an extra white source potentially for King Darien seems fine. All of our red cards cost one red. Yeah, I think I think that's that's all good. Three blue sources in the deck. Yeah, I've got the white kicker also for Scout the Wilderness. Yeah, this looks fun. I don't know how good it is, but I would say, like, having three Root Walla makes this deck, I would say, above average. Two Gaius Might, the Amplifiers, the, glo the Growths, Lum Speaker also is making the deck more consistent. And I've got plenty of top end. So, I don't think there's, yeah. I don't think there's any reason to play anything more. Let's fire it up, baby. I really haven't gotten to play a ton of domain, so I've been I've been kind of interested in looking to do it. I think what we were seeing pack one, if I was not sort of choosing a little bit early uh probably would have ended up in some sort of white green aggressive deck potentially huh interesting so we have our our two drops that kind of don't do anything and then two gold cards yeah i think we want them all all right this is not a whole lot better um samiria i'm down to keep probably keep all of the lands just cut a guy's might it's not a great hand if, if we draw a forest we're definitely in better shape oh no all right well we got plenty of green sources in the deck okay flame sage oh boy Oh, we definitely need to, to draw one of our eight green sources. Um, okay, so they get to look at the top two. They have some sort of combat trick. That's good to know. Um, okay, probably just lose this game, but let's give it a shot here. So if we draw a green source... That's untapped. We can just slam the Sojourner, I guess. I mean, this is 
looking bad. We're probably thinking about heroic charging here just for damage. You probably don't do that. Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be good enough, most likely. Um, drew the green, but two turns too late. Yeah. Good old red white aggro. <laughs> uh, my opponent didn't even have a two drop too. So I was like, okay, they play the three drop shirt, sure, captain's call, fine, whatever. Um, obviously they're gonna go wide and do the thing, but I think if we even had a forest on turn three instead of turn I mean turn two would have been ideal. Okay, great. This much, much better starting hand. Uh, how much? I guess technically this is better to be able to play the scout later. Um, so we'll probably might hold the amplifier a little bit just to see if we can get the value out of it. Um, Raph is a good one. The next turn, I think we'll just play the Gardener. I um, wonder if they have a way to interact. I guess I should still play as if they do. Um, I could attack, play the Tapped Land, and play Missionary next turn. That's also an option. I don't think I'm ever blocking this thing, though. Okay. I meant to block. Fair enough. Um, probably just run out the gardener. Sure. That's fine. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, huh. So we could, could play Amplifier Bouncing the Stalwart. That's probably not that worth, though. We could also Scout. Yeah, I kind of like doing this. Playing the Tapped Lands. Or, hmm. Scout's also fine, too, though. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Get our two tokens. Let's get our land here. Um, I guess. I guess we're just grabbing our planes. We're gonna crew. That makes sense. That's a raft. We'll take three. They played nothing, huh? Okay. Um. What do I want to do? I guess I'll send my two tokens in first. Definitely got some spells. So I guess I'd rather have the amplifier get countered. If that's what they have. Okay. Bouncing Raft doesn't really do anything. I just kind of, they, they clearly have something. I, I don't know what it is, but I mean, to be fair, there's nothing really worth killing here, so. They can play Wrath. They can attack us for three. Okay. Oh, 
would love to draw not land. <laughs> uh, I mean, I only have one play here, so I think I'm just going to make it. Pretty sure they have some sort of removal spell, so uh, kind of think I should wait to play Root Wallet. It's also super conservative, though. But they're not able to do anything anyway, so I think that's okay. They've got some sort of interaction. It's either a combat trick or a removal spell. And I think I'd rather play Sunbathing Root Wallet when I have the pump up. So I don't I don't think this interaction works because you can't pay the kicker for something coming into play like flickering that way okay that's a card um, yeah let's play the root walla I'm gonna hold the land in my hand just in case they have discard um, then I think next turn we'll probably go sideways with Root Wall and Amplifier. See what happens. Don't really have a good attack past that. I could attack with just the Colossal Growth up, but... Okay, well, now we have to play. Now we have to pressure. Tatiovas. Man, I played against this card so much yesterday, and it's just such a house. Yep. No attacks, really. Huh. Ha ha ha. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Sure, I guess I'll play that. Um. Well, it's got plus four at the moment. I think I just attack with Root Wall. I could attack with the Amplifier, but that like signals that I want to play a trick this turn. I think they could also just take this here, and that would be fine. Okay. All right. Air Asunder. I can't play around that. Oh boy. I think it's a draw card. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Tear Asunder. Jeez. Six here. It's pretty rough. And we're just drawing lands. Yep. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Okay, solid hand. Pretty much all of our colors. Uh, guess. Yeah, we want to lead with one amplifier, probably. Let's start with the ridge line. Okay, 
Oh, that's interesting. I guess we don't have to. If our opponent's playing nothing, could rather get potential value out of the amplifiers later. Yeah. If we were, if they played a two drop, I'd be a little bit more incentivized to play a two drop. That is fine. Oh, I should not have left priority up. I mean, it would have popped up either way, but. Double top, okay, sure. All right, so we definitely just open with Weather Seed Treaty, hit our land drops, make Yavimea cheaper. Uh, two green sources, one white, one blue. Might behoove us to have another white source for Darien. Got the red as well. Yeah, well, let's do that. So next turn, probably just playing the Sojourner on four. Yep. Necromast, Phalanx, Snare Spinner. So are they splashing black or are they splashing white? That would be my question. Oh, this makes our boy even cheaper. Um, so we can we get to... Uh, well, Amplifier is not super effective, but we get to do something next turn. Um, yeah, it's probably still better to run this out past the turn. So something next turn is getting plus five, plus five, and trample. So if we draw our, like, red uh, trample worm off the top, that'll be pretty sweet. Damn, portal for green. Okay. So I guess they're green, white, splash, black, potentially? I don't know. It is unclear. All right, so we're we're definitely pump, pumping the Sapperling. Got the Death Touch blocker and everything. Um, so I can bounce the Gardener and hold up. Yeah, that's probably best. I think. So they don't really have good blocks on this. Just attack with both. Okay. That's fine. I'll use my might just to keep it alive. <laughs> and we've got an amplifier on the death toucher again if we want to do that. But it might just be better to play King Darien. So you can keep double death touch up, that's fine. So yeah, I think let's Yeah, let's play Darien. Go to attacks with everyone but the Sojourner. Maybe they'll block the amplifier with the fly. is acceptable. Okay, 
Okay, soul tender. Yep. Oh, interesting. Veteran. Okie dokie. Um, I think I'd probably just make the same attack here. Um, and then just make a token. Sense. So there. Yeah, let's player lands. Activate this whenever. So. I think we want to get the token out of Darien. Yeah, so they're black, white, splash green. Interesting. Oh. Well, I guess that's good. Yeah, they get two blockers. They get a land. Cool. Put a plus one, plus one counter. Make it two, two. Okay. That's not quite lethal. Um... with everyone I mean if they have guys might it's not gonna be enough sure okay. yep just play mana worker I mean if they go captain's call plus something else that could keep them alive one more turn, maybe. But we're also adding a token at end of turn. And they get to bounce something, so. Probably dead. Okay, repossession. Gets them up to seven. Necromass. Do they have a planes here? Well, I guess they can tap the gardener and remove Darien. Yeah. I mean, if I didn't have removal spell in my hand, this is a pretty good turn for them. Who are we targeting? Darien. Make a 1-1 one, one response. And then I will bounce that to your hand. And that. Our deck was good. It's just kind of like black black white splash, some good I don't know about the snare spinner. I don't I don't think you want to be splashing for that kind of card, but maybe they had a reason to. <clears throat> Splashing two or three drops is like usually not what you want to be doing. You usually want to be splashing cards that you can find the lands and play them later. Um, if they had the Death Bloom, but then they had a lot of black and white cards, so it's maybe truly a three color deck. Okay, well, we've got the Lone Speaker. If it survives, I think we'll be okay. <clears throat> so we can go this into Lone Speaker into Scout. And then that should get us towards our big stuff. Okay, 
No one mana blue spells in their hand. Okay, nice. And this is not dying. That is <coughs> very good for us. Um, it's technically I don't have to tap it, do I? I guess I won't. We're just going to fire this off. We just want to hit our land drop. Um, need red, right? Yep. Well, yep. That is A-OK. -okay. So what are we leading with here? I, I imagine the dragon. Just like the band. Um, is there any spell that can just kill this outright? I don't think so. They could bounce it. That's probably the extent of it. I mean, just don't think too hard. Just play the big dragon. Make them have to deal with it. Talus look out. Sure. So this is fine. Fire land, which discounts our stuff even further. Um, start by attacking for five. Probably just playing the Outrider here. Gets the hit for five. Next turn we might attack with the land. See what we draw. I mean, it can't attack past the wall, but... Okay, Balmore. It's a good one. Uh, yeah. That's fine. I'll take my three. I believe that you have a spell. Seems that way. Um, yeah, definitely play our land still. Um, if I attack with both. Is I can animate a land. Kind of like that too. What land would I animate? I guess my planes at this point. Yeah, I'm, yeah, and then I attack with. Yeah, but then it just gets blocked. Yeah, I don't think that really does anything. Just go, just attack with Rith. I think as long as Rith doesn't die, like, we should be fine. I scorn. Yeah, that's good. Okay, the discarded talus lookout. Interesting. Soaring Drake, sure. Okay, well now I think we want to start maybe getting in there for a little bit more. I mean, you can pump something once, but I don't think that's going to do it. Let's attack with everything here. I mean, 
any creature is lethal. So. Talus look out, I imagine. Balmore, okay. Sure. If they do that, then they have to play a spell first, so. It's fine, yes. Let's let these abilities resolve. Let's look at the board. But pretty sure giving this plus five is going to be more than enough. That resolves. Guys, my. We get a four four. Oh no, we didn't do excess damage technically, did we? Oh no, because we did seven to Balmore, right? So I think I think that's that works. Yeah, we do get a four four. <laughs> this thing has ward also. Jesus. <coughs> played that reasonably well I mean glad they set the blocks where like I got to play my trick after their trick even though I think they were pretty sure I think they got to see behold priority with just a green land open so pretty good bet that that's the guy's might but yeah that hand panned out perfectly yeah this looks good weather suit treaty and root walla not a bad combo. And another root wall. Uh, yeah, we're just going to lead with that. Go Weather Seed into these two. Gets the land out of our deck as well, which is good. Um, yeah. Go for two. Treaty. Start on one. Grab our planes. Got four land types now. Huh. I mean, we can attack through braids. I'm wondering if it's worth fire NATOing now. I don't think so. Like, I can just dump these on the board. Oh, I should have played wall first. That was dumb. Because if I had a tap land, I'd much rather play that. Yeah. It's... Tim, it's not how you play magic. All right. Yeah, I think we just go on the token here and then yeah we're casting either of these so we can just play this for the the five okay we'll attempt to pump Terra Thunder sure Sure, sure, sure. Espionage, good thing we held the land in our hand. Sure. I don't know, 
interesting. So if I attack and they don't block, they just die, right? Nice. If I had sent in both, they know what's up. And then they just block the... Uh, they have to block the 2-2, two -two, I think, at that point. There I'm saying, okay, I'll just attack with my 2-2. Two -two. I could pump it and you'll take, you know, 5, but I guess you're willing to sacrifice that life and then... Just kill him. Nice. Well, the deck feels really good when you're playing your your root wallows and you're hitting for like a million. So we we like to see it. Okay, if our opponent's deck is aggressive. This is going to be a rough game. But if they don't have a two or three drop, I think this is fine. Okay, so I guess we start with. Yeah, I'll start here. Having the untapped land is really important, so. Okay. Uh, yep. So we're going to play Weather Seed Tree to get our red source, and then we can start slamming these Sojourners. That's good. Okay. So they, they drew a two drop. Weather seed on one. Grab our mountain. Cool. Alright. And we've got the amplifier with kicker, which is nice too. On turn six. Brush harder. Yeah, that hurts. Um yeah, I've got some options here. But I think it's still just gonna be Sojourner. If they if they have a destroy evil, they have it. Um, if they don't, they might just trade the brush strider for Sojourner, and I th I think I have to take that trade at the state of the game. Okay, they do not want to trade. <coughs> it's good for us. Um, what are we doing this turn? Probably just like. Sojourner Root Wallow. Yeah, it's still probably better just to attack with the token. Get the free six damage. And then. Oh, so I could. Okay, we, have, we definitely have a few options here. I think it's still better to just play Sojourner, play Rootwalla. They attack with the brush, the, oh. They've got their own Morrow, eh? All right. Oh, we've got six mana. Rootwalla's got plus five, so it can attack through the Morrow. Um... The other line is we could bounce the Morrow. But I, I like that better when we have two mana up for at least the Colossal Growth. So I think let's send in the Clown here. See what happens. They can also just take two and that's fine. Oh, okay. Or they could, yeah, they could trade me if you pay four. Well, there is an argument to pumping this, right? Because this is going to deal seven. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that's correct. Maybe we just hit them for seven here. Play another one. If we didn't have Outrider in our hand, I probably wouldn't make that play. But I don't know. Pumping the root while I'm playing another one seems really good. Either of them become lethal threats. Okay, plus turn, yep. Good they drew that and didn't have it last turn, or didn't have enough mana for last turn. 
Um, yeah, so most likely we send in the root wall of a double block. But it has to be seven. So I guess the best block they have then is like rider, pump itself, and goblin block. And the other two can block. Yeah. Okay. So we're, we're probably just shipping in with the root walla and taking the two for two. Hmm. That is interesting. Or we could just play primeval. <laughs> So they can't they can't take this right so question is do we want to get the two for one now i think we just play rith play rith pass the turn then we have two lethal threats maybe they've got a fight spell to fight the root wall now but i think they probably would save that to kill rith Could also just be holding priority for Branch Rider and Goblin Picker, so I, I don't think I should be reading into uh, the priority too much. Okay, Gardener, sure. All right, untapping is excellent. <laughs> um, yeah, now they've got their gardener. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm just attacking for five here. Let's see what they got. Just gonna try and kill you with Outrider. Yep. Nice. Nice. Oh, well, thank thankfully our opponent was not on <laughs> red white aggro or like blue white tempo because I think I think we do get blown out. But just decks like this, if you hit your land drops and you don't die, you're you will just overpower. I think any deck. Um, maybe not the blue decks, just because they have so much card advantage, but most any other aggro or mid-range kind of build in draft, you should be able to overpower. Okay, well, being on the play with Weather Seed is excellent. So we'll go potentially 1, 2, 3, or just 1, 2, 3. But either way, I guess I want the option with Ridgeline. Yes. Like, if we draw a second untapped land, then we can play get to... Okay, we did not. Yeah, I don't really care about playing the amplifier here. So I think we're going to get a plans. Yeah, let's just do this. And then we'll play Weather Seed Treaty. So blue Red. It's just Whenever I've played Blue Red, it just feels like one of the best things you could be doing. Um... More than likely a removal spell or essence scatter, so I think the treaty should make it through. Yep. Grab our planes here. So next turn with the bog, we'll have all five. Make a one one. Um so yeah, what's what's our mana situation here? I'm pretty okay with Sojourner getting encountered here, which is what it looks like it probably will. Um, over Rootwalla. Or we could go Rootwalla now, but I, I want to have the Amplifier potentially for next turn. Pretty sure this is getting Essence scattered. Okay, it's not. So I'm going to pass priority as soon as I can to keep Gaia's Might. A bit of a secret here. Yeah, so they're reading that and they're going, wow, I'm going to take a lot of damage next turn. It's fine. OK. 
Try to save the guy as my... I, I just don't... I don't think that's... That's good. Okay. Oh, attack for nine. <laughs> uh, okay. Here... It's close, but pretty sure I just run out the Emeria Rider. Yeah. Just just hitting him for the casual 13 damage in one turn. Very casual. <laughs> That's why this deck is sick. Uh, I do think Root Wall is what makes this deck actually competitive. Like, I think if you don't have a 2-drop like this... It's fine, yeah, you can have all these fatties, but they're not coming down until turn four or five. So, how much does that actually do for you? All right, well, I'm just going to try and win the game here. Yeah. So, what do our, our opponent had? Like, Flowstone Infusion. And I guess that was kind of all the early interaction they had. Might have been a mistake to not save the token. I don't know. I think it's close, because they could have just had another answer later. The, my thinking for not doing it there is like, I don't really care about the token if they want to use a removal spell on it, great. And I'll save Gaia for, you know, blanking a, like a, an actual removal spell on one of my actual creatures. So, okay, we haven't seen the monstrosity yet. Maybe we'll get to do some fun stuff, potentially, with Amplifier. Sleeper, okay. That's a good one. Just run out the Amplifier. This is... They can attack through. Yep. Attack me for three. Yep, that's good. Take it. So if I think the math checks out here, if I colossal growth this plus three, it becomes seven, and then I can play the monstrosity for one. Pretty sure that's how that works. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Please don't tap my. Please don't tap my red mana. <laughs> Oh, it cost two. No. I messed up. Oh, I didn't do my math right. Never was that good at math. Why I choose to play this game. <laughs> Jeez. Much would have preferred playing Death Bloom Gardener. Why did I think it get plus three? Yikes. 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 Well, that sucks. Okay, I'm probably just taking three from the protector. Yeah. It's like maybe a destroy evil. I monstrosity. Um, I'm down to a tavern sojourner. Trade with the sleeper if they want. Okay. Yeah, I did, did not think so. Pretty sure I make that attack there. If they want to crack back with the sleeper. Um, oh, no. That's not good. Oh, that's so not good. Alright, so we have to bounce the Protector next turn, I think, to just not die. Um, okay, growth is good. Growth is good, though. Now, if I attack with everything, it still seems like they've got something. But it could just... It's still priority from Sleeper, potentially. Um, I'd have to really think. So I could bounce the Protector for five. 
Attack with everything. I guess they trade the sleeper there. But if I attack with everything, right, and play growth, what happens? So the best blocks, I guess, are, yeah, they could stick like this here, this there. And maybe they just don't block the amplifier. So that's six. Yeah, I don't think we have enough. This is one, two, yeah. Okay, so let's... I don't, I don't think we have quite enough. All right, so let's see what they do. I'll, I think I make the same attack with Sojourner. They could chump it. They could trade with the Sleeper. Yeah, that's fine. I think we, I think we have to do that. And then I think we... Player Amplifier, Mounts Protector, give ourselves a turn. Ugh, damn. Yeah, cheap wall might actually just be enough though. Okay, good. They're attacking. I mean, I, I would probably do the same thing. Yeah, I don't know if the math is going to work out here, but. Honestly, for spewing our, our third turn, not the worst. Get back sleeper, play sleeper. Okay. Okay, well, that actually might have done it. So, I mean, that... Do we have all five? We do. Yeah, I think. Let's see what happens. <laughs> see if we can do the math right. Okay. Block, block. Alright, so. Monstrosity is currently blocked by drawbridge. And they can't sack anything. So that's 10. Yeah, so we just pump monstrosity. And then we pump it again. Woo! I think that was literally the card <laughs> that we needed. Jeez. What a time. I see why this deck is fun. It feels kind of like a combo deck almost. Imagine if we hadn't like just <laughs> spewed away a card for six damage. But I guess the six damage mattered. So. Uh All right, can can we keep it rolling from our like one and two start? All right, I'm gonna. I definitely want to hide the guys. Might if I can. I guess I'll just play planes. Ah, oh, bridge line. Um, I guess I'm supposed to play. What am I supposed to play here? I play Lone Speaker. Gives me the option to run out Scout. Yeah, that's that's probably good enough. <laughs> I was thinking, would I rather play Walla and just start getting in? But I think it's close, and I'd probably just want the mana to have options. If I draw a Sojourner or something. Pilfer, okay. Yeah. Probably the root wall, unless you've got removal. Otherwise, maybe scout. Oh, I guess yeah, it's not lands. They can't. They can't take my my lands. Uh, and I'll wait to play scout with kicker. So if they take root wall here, I'll just animate a land next turn. Attack for three. Scout's good. 
I think Scout and Rue Waller are probably close. If you've got removal in your deck, you probably take Scout the Wilderness. I'm thinking about it. Root Waller. Yep. That is fair. I will just do the thing that I want to do. Oh, I should have I should have definitely animated the planes though. That was that was plain mistake. Ah, oh, jeez. I was like, it doesn't matter. Nah, I probably want to have guys might up, just always. So, that was a mistake. Another trick, you say? Alright, well. This decision's pretty easy. Run this out with Kicker. Um, Got one white source, two white source, two green. Yeah, probably a second red is worth having. I mean, just for the Kicker, for the Colossal Growths. Huh, Amplifier's actually pretty sweet draw. So yeah, I think we're just run this out with Kicker. Slow them down a little bit. More board presence. Oh, good old Morrow. Yeah. That's an annoying one. <laughs> Interesting. Much would have much rather preferred to bounce that. Um I mean Amplifier can attack through. I guess technically anything can attack through and we're just guys mining and tornadoing. Okay. Let's. I think we just make mountain. Oh, I think I actually messed this up, huh? I actually needed the extra mana. So I'd have to double pump something. Which I guess is... Three. I mean, we've got enough, so... Yeah, I guess I guess we're just doing it. Through the block. Okay. Alright, so this is two. This gets plus four if I play two spells. So that's five. Ten. Yeah, that's lethal. Five plus five is ten plus yeah. Cool. I actually need the red source. Interesting. So five, eight. Oh no, I have it. This is so this is nine, right? Yeah, nine. 12, 13, 14. So we get really close here. Question is, do we do it? I think so, right? Because we can make another land next turn. If they have two blockers, we get to maybe kill one. Yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think I think I'm supposed to do this. Eleven, twelve, thirteen brings them to two. So I could also do it here. Yeah, let's just do, do the line we said we were going to do. This puts them dead to a lot of stuff. Oh, do they have the double strike card? <laughs> they do. I'm dead. <laughs> Got nothing. I think what's so great about this format, just while our opponent's thinking, um, is that I can take these like pretty just not good green pump spells and they are insane in my deck. All right. Oh. Huh. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Uh all right. Let's hope we can buy ourselves a turn to draw. I think we have a couple outs. Yeah, they've got a removal spell. Damn. GG. You don't even need to play another spell. It's fine. <laughs> I take 11. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, you know what? A good run, a good run. We definitely made some misplays along the way, as as y'all probably saw there. But um, my first, I would say my first real attempt saying, like, I want to draft this deck. Here's how I'm going to prioritize it in the draft. And I think overall it came out pretty well. I mean, we splashed two really good rares. We had the amplifiers that definitely did a lot of work, some value. But, yeah, I mean, I think, I think this deck... Obviously, you need the land to operate it. But my sneaking suspicion whenever I played against it is whenever I don't see a Root Walla, like turn two or three, I'm usually fine. Because I'm either playing aggro, where I'm just going to be able to run them over with going wide. Um, or I'm potentially playing counter spells, or just have a lot of removal. But when this thing comes down, or if my opponent has multiple of this... I just, the deck get is so much better because having a relevant two drop that not only will always trade up, but has threat of activation, right? Where you don't even have to pump it and it's basically a two, two unblockable creature, or it just sits there and blanks even like their four fours as a two drop is, is just really powerful and exactly what this deck wants. Uh, also the weather seed treaty is just the best like green uncommon probably to have in the deck um guys mites are good and so are colossal growths and the best part about this deck is if no one's drafting it which i don't think anyone's like looking to do this more like aggressive style of this deck usually people are playing like black for removal for value cards or like blue for um you know card advantage but this version which is mainly kind of like red green big burn stuff you know, the guys' mites and especially the colossal growths become incredibly good. Um, still not sure I needed the mana worker, to be honest. I probably could have played something else over that. Um, would have been great to have, a, like, one more outrider. I think I took a land over an outrider at one point. Could be wrong. I'll go back in the draft log. Let me take a look at that. But, um, yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with this draft. And, uh, yeah, thanks, thanks for joining for another draft and uh hope that this was a bit of a different flavor of what i tend to draft 
All right. Take care, folks.